I'm Sinead. And I'm Nita. And today we're talking about two fantastic folding saws. Today we're going to be highlighting two of Silky's amazing folding saws. One being the curved Gomboy and the other being the Ultra XL. Now we had a customer ask us what the difference was between these saws because they do seem very similar and also wanted to know whether there is a quality difference between the two of them. So that's the subject matter of today's video. Yes, which one's better? Mm. <laughs> So first up, I think one of the biggest questions is, is there a quality difference between these two folding saws and Silky Range, or in fact, any Silky saw? Uh, and the short and sweet answer to that one is no. So Silky saws, they have a variety of different saws, depending on what you're doing. So similar to uh, women's clothing. <laughs> so you've got your cotton, which is comfortable and easy to use, yes. but then you've got your silk and your satin, which is lush. <laughs> That's right, and there's a price difference of two, yes. one cost a lot less than the other. But you know, the silk and satin, very easy to break. So people might go, oh, it's a, it's a worse quality. Not the case. Yes. No, it's just different for a different reason. Same with silky saws. Yes. There are silkies that are easier to break than others, but they work far better in certain applications. Yes. So all silkies, Beautiful so it's quality. depending on you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to show you what is the same with these two sorts, so you know what you're not comparing. So I have the Gomboy Curved. And I have the Ultra XL. Yeah, so the similarities between these two saws is they both have a 24 centimeter blade mm -hmm. or a 240 mil blade length. Um, they both have the same kerf, which is the mm -hmm. thickness of the blades. So that's about a one point, well, that is a 1.3 <laughs> mil kerf. They also have um, curved blade. Curved blades, <laughs> yes. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Which makes them quite unique in the folding range. So these are our <laughs> curved blade saws. Yes. Um, they also have the two notches on the blade mm. as well, so the two different blade settings. So the And they also have the same tooth style, which is the Mirami, is that how yes. you pronounce it? Mirami yes. tooth style, so very uh, beautiful, smooth cutting yeah. saw. It looks like you've sanded the branch up. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> they both have a hard chrome plating over the saw to give mm -hmm. the saw a nice protective coating. Mm -hmm. And the other aspect was they aren't sharpenable. No. So they have an impulse hardened tooth. Just the tip of the tooth. Yes, so yeah. that means the very, very tip of the tooth yeah. has been hardened, so yeah. it's nice and strong. <laughs> and the special gum rubber on the handle. Yeah, mm. so they both have the paint and silky. So the gum rubber handle, which is brilliant for working when you get hard, when you're working hard and you're yeah. getting sweaty hands, mm. or you're working in slippery conditions yeah. and it's raining. Mm. The more, yes, yeah, so the more, the more sweatier, or the moisture you get on your hand. Yeah, the grippier it gets, and mm. it's nice and comfortable as well. So it absorbs the vibration when yeah. you're pruning. Mm. Yeah, very nice handles. Uh, they both will have the holes as well, so you can put a D clip or carabiner through it should you wish, or yep. a string. So yeah, so that is what is the same about these two saws. A lot of similarities. Yes. <laughs> so I have done the similarities, um, and now Nita is going to talk about the differences, the differences between the Gomboy Curved and the Ultra itself. Yes. So one of the big ones is the size of the teeth. The Ultra XL has seven and a half teeth per three centimeters, whereas the Gomboy Curved has eight. Now you might think, oh shit, it's eight teeth, seven and a half, that's not a lot of difference. I don't do it. <laughs> but it is amazing what these tiny differences make. So much so, we had a customer in the other day who was a builder and he loved his saw that he had, but he just felt he needed something that just had a little bit more strength to it. So we found him a saw very, very similar, but it just had a very slight difference in the curve, so a slightly thicker blade. Anyway, he went off, came back a few days later and said, unbelievable difference, absolutely loved his new saw. And he himself couldn't believe what such a minor change made to actually how it functioned and how it felt when he used it. So little differences can sometimes be huge differences. <laughs> Gomboy Curved has a plastic case or oh, a hard yes. plastic case. Oh yes, there is case. a difference. <laughs> <laughs> three, three differences. A hard plastic case um, oh, like for the Gomboy, and then you'll notice here on our black pack here, 
we have you can attach it to the side of the backpack <laughs> yeah. yeah so it has like a a loop system at the back so that can hook under a belt or hook under one of those molly straps yeah and um it has sort of a lock over little lid there now this is not something that's going to last for years and years and years of no. your side attaching it to your body for that plastic. you will want to get a proper gum case but it is a difference it does come with that whereas the ultra xl just comes with the foam itself, itself. Yeah. yeah so your options for carrying them other than using the case that the gone boy comes with is this case here they call it a gone case and it's made out of that same special rubber that the handle is made out of on the handsaw so one of the cool things that that means is when you put the handsaw into the case it kind of adheres to it because it's that same rubber so when you bend over it's not going to fall out easily on you yeah. now that will only fit the gone boy curved in this this case out of these two saws it will not fit the ultra xl because the ultra xl is a bit wider so the yeah. case if you wanted to buy a case for your ultra xl would be actually the big boy case <laughs> yeah so yeah because the saw is slightly wider the big boy case fits the Ultra XL in, mm -hmm. so. So the, uh, nice. the Big Boy case is not actually made out of the same rubber material that the Gong case is. No, it's a hard, hard plastic. Yeah, but it still stays it's in fairly strong, well. Yeah, it's a strong, yeah. and yeah, it holds in there as well, so. Yeah. Happy days. Yes. Awesome. It's also got, yeah, it's also got, uh, you can actually remove the clip so you can attach this clip to your belt or to mm. the side of the backpack as well mm. um you can fit a d clip or carabiner through the hole um and through your belt which is through just through here yeah and with the gum case the same thing it's got the same hole and for attachment it's got sort of a slit here so you would slide your belt or whatever it is through that slit section yep. there okay. and they both have um, a slit on the bottom oh, of yes. the cases as well, this well. Is the hole. you've got a hole <laughs> i've got a slit <laughs> but um this was if you are get wood chips or dirt it yeah it's not going to fill up it's going to fall out and keep it clear yeah mm. so they're the cases that you would be looking at should you have these swords Don't forget to comment and like the video too. We love yes. hearing from you. And don't forget, Silky's making the most amazing presents. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, Matt, how you going? Just so we give you a bit of a shout out. I know a few of you have been missing us. We've been a bit MIA in the last few weeks, so sorry about that. Hope you're all well, and uh, we're back on back on board. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Something like that. Awesome. You need his head. No, yep, it's gonna work. It's quite <laughs> so yeah, big things, big, wet, sappy things. <laughs> this is great. <laughs>